Hey YouTube, what is up everybody? This is your homeboy, Second Dog 4. Martial art and fitness trainer online. Um, this is a topic that most people don't really talk about uh, because it's personal, private, and stuff like that. Me, I don't really care. Um, I'm just kind of getting it out there. Um, me, it's like in the adult industry. Um, my channel is about martial arts, fitness, and stuff like that. I'm not really talking about it, adult industry all that much. But um, the adult industry of um, adult entertaining, you know, for pleasure. Um, I'm just going to say it like that because it sounds more professional. Uh, hmm, how can I go about this uh, without you know sounding like a pervert or something like that um, but I'm just gonna say this the three women in the adult industry the three women that I'm really truly fond of number one the Latino Bridget B I don't know what it is about her, but it's just something about her that I just like about her. Um, I guess it's the Latino part in her. Um, and her beautiness, all, all together, her smartness. You know, I've seen some of her talk videos on YouTube, and you know, she's very intelligent on certain things um you know if you're watching this Bridget B you know I'm one of your biggest fans I mean I don't care um you know if you ever want to do a collab sometime just let me know um I'll be willing to do an interview with you um another thing would be Another one would be Romy Rain. Um, she, I don't know much about her yet. I mean, I, I mean, I just found out about her like a few few years ago, um, off the internet, and um, yeah, I mean, Romy Rain. I mean, she's attractive. Only thing, you know. She's attractive, she's smart. Um, she's very skilled at what she does in her line of work. Um, I do know that. Um, on what she does do. Um, but, it's like I said, I don't really know much of her. Um, I mean, I've watched a few films of her, but not a whole lot. Of her, but I have come across some of her film films before, <laughs> and but yeah, I mean, it's just that's another one. That's the second favorite one I like, and then you have Lisa Ann. Um, everybody says she's like true goddess in the adult industry um really technically you know she might be super hot she might be super sexy beautiful no matter of thing but i mean she does know her stuff and uh and that's the thing and if those three you know would ever contact me and tell me, hey, you know, let's meet up. I'll pay for your flight. I'll pay for your, you know, hotel room, whatever. Um, they'll be like, if they did something like that, which I know they will never do. But those three women in the adult industry are the three women I find as MILFs. MILFs. You know, mothers, I would love the F. 
you know, I'm not going to say it because, you know, most people on YouTube will get offended by it and on how you say things. Um, am I attracted to older women? Um, yes, I am. That's what attracts me. And, uh, I don't know what it is. Um, you know, usually if they have the good looks, if they have the personality and the good looks, and maybe it's like, okay, that's what I go by. I don't go by, or, the, or the, if they have the good looks, the niceness, and personality all together, that's what I go by. But if, it, if, if they're just wanting the money, wanting to be in it for the money and stuff like that, then that's what I don't go by. But um, but they do it for making money anyway. And that's the thing. And they do their jobs so well in their performance on what they do. And, and that's the thing, you know. Would you say I'm a pervert? I guess you could say I'm a pervert. But really, typically, I'm not. Everybody out there has some type of hotness or some type of hot model in the in any adult in entertaining any adult entertaining business out there. I don't care who you are, even a female. It's the same way with men. You know, they might not talk about it as much. But they have the same thing as for a man, you know, in the, in the adult industry, you know, that's the thing. And basically, that's the thing on a topic like that. And I'm just being open, and, and this is a different subject off the topic of what I normally talk about. Does that make me a purr? No, it don't. I mean, it just makes me human. Uh, everybody is human, you know, everybody has fans, everybody has some type of hotness for a supermodel, or a movie star, or, you know, a huge fan of, that they idolize at all times. Um, but to me, I don't idolize these women, I just think they're attractive. Uh, I just think they're beautiful, I think they're attractive, beautiful, hot, sexy, all at the same time. Um, but, but that's it. That's my desires kicking. But the thing of it is, everybody has some type of crush on some type of woman. And in any type of business they do and after like and let's say if you like a celebrity female um let's say angelina jolie you know everybody said oh yeah she's hot um well to me i i really don't find her all that attractive i mean i, I really don't um I guess you say I'm wrong on that, but I really don't. I mean, I really don't find her that attractive. Yeah, she's a good actor, don't get me wrong, but I just don't find an Angelina Jolie attractive. Now, if you want to talk about celebrities, now, celebrity women that are attractive want to be Elizabeth Hurley. Now, I, now she's a bombshell. Um, Jennifer Garner, that's another one. Uh, I want to say Uma, Uma Therma, that's another one. Lucy Liu, that's another one. Um, oh, I'm trying to think what else. Who was another one? Um, Carmen, Carmen Electra. That's another one. Um, 
But yeah, you know, everybody has some type of fantasy of any woman, any guy out there has a fantasy of any woman that they find fond of. And to me, you know, all it is is desires. That's all it is. That's all you're a fan, you're a fan of. And, but the thing is, you know, those desires ain't gonna be coming real. You know, yeah, you can have all these fantasies, you know, in your mind, you know, you have all these fantasies in your dreams, you know, and all that. But in reality, you know, it, it don't come true. So, yeah, if you happen to bump into one in real life by coincidence, you know, yeah. It'd be a privilege, you know, to say, hey, 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 you know, I'm a fan, you know, but don't act like you're a huge fan, but, uh, like, just be normal, be cool, just go up to him, approach him, say, hey, you know, I really appreciate your work, what you do, you know, can I buy you a drink, or can, you know, I do something for you, you know, just for a return of what you do, and usually, most of the time, you know, if, you, if you're generous and kind to him, you know, They'll eventually, you know, turn around and thank you. And, and do something for it. Um, I know in, in a music business, Doug Stone, um, he came off the tour bus at one of the concerts I went to. He came off and um, came off the tour bus, they were walking up to me and um, my stepfather at the time uh, when I was living with him and started talking to me and him both and like we were as long as relatives or long lost buddies or whatever like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like he knew us the rest of his life most of his life and it was very interesting because <clears throat> I mean, he was a cool male guy, down to earth. I mean, he didn't care, you know, if he was uh, just there for the concert or what. And he looked at me and, well, I mean, I, I just asked, you know, I just, we just talked, you know, about everything, you know. And I, and I asked him one question. And I said, Doug Stone. Uh, or Mr. Stone, and he was like, just call me Doug, I'm all right, all right. Doug, and I said, uh, yeah, he was like, what's your question, and I'm like, well, uh, what does it take to be a songwriter, well, he told me, he said, being a songwriter takes a lot out of you, and if you want to make it into business, and he said, but if you write a song, you gotta have a meaning behind it. And every song that you write, it's gotta have a story, a meaning, and a good tune to it. And for people to follow you in your work. <laughs> so, when you end up, and you might get turned down in the music business. And that's what he told me. I said, but you just keep at it, keep at it, and keep at it. And he said, he said, I just got turned down by Sony Records. And that's what he said. And he said, but did that stop me from coming to this show? No. He said, I still perform for my fans. And then he was like, you know what, why don't you stay after the show? And he says, you'll get a picture with me. And I said, I'll give you an autograph. He says, you know, he says, I'm starting to like you. And so, you know, it's just, we just treat them like they're normal human beings. Not ask them, well, you know, for an autograph, you know, just talk to them normal about everything. Show them respect. That's with any celebrity. And they will treat you with respect. That's how I see it. Now, if you... Now, if the three top models that I asked to 
talked actually talked about. You know, if they actually watch this video and they say, hey, you know, if they would say, hey, you know, if they would want to meet me or whatever, do a collab or whatever, um, interview or something like that, I would most definitely, you know, if they had offered to buy me a flight to their place or wherever to do an interview with them, I would do it. I mean, I would just do it, say, hey, I met them, you know, just get it out of the way. That's always been on one of my buckets of wish, wish list. But the thing is, like I said, that would never happen. Um, that's just desires, it's just fancy. But, you know, you can always imagine what it would be like, you know, to actually meet an adult entertainment industry model or something like that in that type of work. But when it comes to music, Doug Stone was the best opportunity that, um, and I wish I would have got his phone number. Um, that way I could have probably still kept in touch with him. Um, but, you know, I, you know, I didn't care, you know, if, uh, if I didn't use, see him again or whatever, but, you know, it was the privilege of meeting him in person when he did get off the tour bus. Because I didn't act like, oh my god, Doug Stone, you know, get all crazy. Oh my god, you know how like females do, or whatever. Um, I just had to normal. I had to cool. I shook his hand. I said, how you doing, sir? Or Mr. Stone. And, and he said, just call me Doug. And I said, I'm like, all right. How you doing, Doug? And he says, you know what? You're all right. You're very respectful, sir. And he says, you know, we started talking and everything. And, carrying on and, and um, we had we even had a drink together and he offered me a beer and out of one of his coolers and we, we drank a beer together and uh, we started talking and um, next thing you know he uh, was on stage he even, I was even filming one of his songs, and he even let me walk on stage, record him, filming one of his songs, um, I can't remember the name of the song, but it was one of his, uh, classics, and, uh, in the country music, and, um, he let me go on stage and just record it. The whole time on my phone. No guards got me off the stage or nothing. And he, he uh, flagged, the, flagged the guards not to go up there and get me off or nothing. And I mean, he, he was down there. I mean, and that's on one of my old phones. And I wish I would have had my old phone because it had that concert. That I'll never forget that I can get on stage and be up close to a singer like that. And most people are pretty, most of the singers like that, they're pretty cool down to earth. They don't really care. But there are some singers out there that are pricks. You know, say, hey, it's to get them off stage. But if you if you act like you're not going to do anything to them, or if you don't get all too crazy around, they'll treat you with respect. They'll treat you with most dignity with respect, and if you just treat him like a normal person. So, uh, yeah, I, you know, there you have it, folks. I made this video too long as is. Uh, I'm gonna get off here. I'm gonna probably watch a movie, and um, probably have Corona, maybe, uh, just to help relax a little bit. And then, um, probably hit the bed. Um, I did train hard at night. I'm up to, I was lifting in 35 pounds on bench pressing, not tonight, but before I injured my shoulder, I'm back up to 30. So I have like five more pounds to go until I'm back up there, um, but other than that, my shoulder's getting much stronger now than what it was, which I'm shocked on it. So 
30 other folks. Um, and next week, it's coming up week, so I'm going to be three days at work. Uh, I'll be going on vacation. So, uh, for about all the way up to the, the third of next year. And I'll go back to work on the third of next year, 2023. I'm going to have to get used to that one. Um, but other than that, I mean, 2023, I go back to work on the 3rd of January, and so I have a long vacation, so now I have a long time of recovery, um, and then there I'll be, and I'll have more time to train, you know, to get stronger, faster, and stuff like that, recover, sleep, whatever, eat, upload videos, you know, keep my channel going throughout the week. And like I said, there you have it, folks. So I'm done for. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit that bell notification. Like I said, Bridget B, if you ever want to do an interview or meet up or whatever, um, I'll be willing to do it. Um, if you offer to pay for my flight or, because I am like one of your biggest fans, um, just be able to sit down and talk with you at maybe dinner or something like that. You know, I'm up for it. But like I said, that's just a fan fantasy. Um, even though for a guy that has a bad back, uh, rods in his back, club feet. Uh, yeah, I mean, there you have it. Uh, so like I said, just hit me up. Uh, if you're watching this, if not, then I totally understand. And like I said, just keep doing your doing what you're doing in your work, and keep doing what you're doing uh, for your, uh, people in the adult industry. Same with you, Romy. It's the same thing. Same with you. It's the same, same thing. But like I said, there you have it, folks. Um, please still like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification to get every one of my videos and please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of your adult industry model that you like. Um, there you have it. I know this is a different topic than what I normally talk about, but it's not martial art related or anything like that. But I just figured, you know, hey, I don't have really much to talk about, so I figured I ought to get it. Out. So there you have it. There, there it is. Please hit the like, hit subscribe, hit that bell notification. I'll get every one of my you'll get every one of my videos. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.